all right guys so we got in a few packages yesterday and today um most of this should be from the i believe it was the yen press cell i kind of went overboard and i bought quite a bit from there from them um, but some of this is also some of the pre-orders that i've had for a while and um they're just coming in so so yeah we have a lot to get through so let's go ahead and get started and get these unboxed um All right, so let's actually get started with this one. This is the smallest box, so I am able to fit it in here. So let's get this one opened. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with these that were not inside of this packaging. Um, or they probably were, but they kind of fell out. Uh, but anyways, uh, this first one here, wow. Um, well, I can barely even show you guys this cover. Um, but yeah, this is a story. So this kind of foreshadows some of the stuff that I picked up in some of the other boxes, but this is sort of the side story of this character here from Prison School. I do love Prison School, the anime. I thought it was probably one of the funniest anime I've ever seen. Um, so I did want to pick up the manga because I just want to see what happens after the anime and I ended up picking up all of Prison School, which I'll show you guys later. But I also saw this one here, and since I was picking everything else up, I thought might as well pick this up too. So yeah, and this one is sealed, um, and I can see why. But oh, this back here looks pretty cool. She kind of has the Kill Bill outfit here. Um, I like this one, that looks nice. So yeah, I do want to open this one up just to see what the artwork looks like. All right, so let's see if I open to a page I can actually show you guys. All right, so a lot of this was actually stuff that I'm not sure if I can show you, but I think this one is pretty safe. Uh, so the art does look pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to read through this. Uh, it's probably going to be a while before I actually do get to this because I do want to finish Prison School, the manga, uh, before I get through this. Um, or if any of you guys have read this one, let me know if I need to read the other series. Maybe I can just finish this one off first and then start on the series. Um, but yeah, that is the first one that I picked up. All right, so this next series is one that I've heard a lot of great things on, and there is another YouTube channel that I follow, Beth Robinson 94 um, I've been checking out a lot of her pickup videos, and she has been picking up a lot of Goblin Slayer, and she kind of inspired me to also pick them up. Yeah, she just had such high praise for it, and it seems like she really enjoys it, so it might be something that I'll enjoy as well. Um, I have seen a few episodes of the anime, and I did like it. I actually haven't finished it yet, but, I do enjoy it and it's something that I think I would enjoy in the manga format as well. So the ones I've picked up here, um, I think I picked up the whole series, I can't remember. But I have 5, 6, and 8 of the original um, series and then I have volume 2 of the brand new day which is sort of like a side story. Here, so let's open one of these up and one of these up and kind of compare the art styles here. All right, so I also noticed that this side story one is much thicker. Okay, I was a little worried. I thought I might have picked up the novel, but no, it is the manga. So let me find a good panel in each one of these. All right, so looking at this pages here, I mean, the art does look pretty similar between both of these. Uh, this is the original um, Goblin Slayer, and this is the brand new day. So yeah, I don't think I'm spoiling anything either. I'm not too sure, but... Let me take a look at some other pages. So yeah, I kind of flipped through a little bit of pages of both of these and the art style does look pretty similar. I do think the original art is just slightly better, just a little bit, but overall pretty similar. Um, so yeah, I'll be picking up, or there'll be a few more of these being unboxed in the next couple of boxes. All right, what else do we got in here? So yeah, more Goblin Slayer. Oops. 
All right, so here is volume one of Brand New Day. And I believe at the moment there are only two volumes for Brand New Day. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got all eight volumes that are currently released for Goblin Slayer. Oh, and let's take a look at the covers. Let's see which, which is my favorite cover so far. Uh, so this is volume one. Uh, here's volume, here's volume two. Volume three. Volume four. Volume five. Volume six, which is weird. This one came unopened. This one wasn't even wrapped. I don't know if that's because this one doesn't contain much explicit content, but yeah, that was kind of weird. All the rest of these are sealed. Uh, volume seven and volume eight. So yeah, my three favorites were uh, volume Volume one, volume five, and volume eight. And seeing them all together here, I might have to give it to volume five. I like the way that um, Goblin Slayer's eye looks here, and then she looks pretty awesome here in the background too. So yeah, I'd say that volume five is my favorite cover for, for Goblin Slayer. All right, so moving on to this next box, the first series here that I picked up. Uh, kind of continuing the Goblin Slayer train. Uh, this is from the same mangaka and I decided to pick up Raw Hero. So I do love Goblin Slayer and I'm kind of excited to sort of check out something new from the same mangaka. Uh, so that's kind of why I picked this one up. And I did see the review from, from that man in his manga and he really enjoyed this series. So I think it's probably gonna be one that I'll enjoy as well. And I think from these two covers, I do like this first one. Uh, seems like our protagonist will be uh, a woman possibly in this one uh, not too sure but yeah I'm excited to check this one out all right next one here is soul eater the perfect edition 2 uh, this is one that I read the perfect edition 1 during Halloween or during October and I did enjoy it a lot so yeah I'm probably gonna try and read this one uh, this next month as well probably read this one of these volumes every month I think they're releasing one of these every month so yeah uh, the only thing with this one is I don't know why it looks like it's a little bent you can kind of see a curve there I can definitely notice it in person but at least this one doesn't have like a it isn't torn here on the spine like the first volume was so so yeah hopefully uh, once I put it in the in the shelf maybe it'll align itself but just a little bit bent, it's not too bad. So yeah, these perfect editions are awesome and uh, yeah, can't wait to read more of this one. Oh, so that one was a pre-order. It wasn't part of the Yen Press sale. I ordered this one back when I ordered volume one. All right, so this next one here is Alice in Murderland. And this is one that I hadn't heard too many people talk about. It was really actually hard to find reviews on this one. But I ultimately did find some on YouTube and on, on Reddit and stuff like that. And people tend to enjoy it. And it was one that for some reason it's always intrigued me ever since I started picking up manga. I started off looking at all of the hardcovers and this was one of them. And it always intrigued me. It looked pretty interesting. And and so during this Yen Press sale, I noticed that one of them was going out of print or it was out of stock and no longer available, which is volume three. And I was already like, ah, man, I really wanted to pick the series up. And I thought I was no longer going to be able to pick it up. But um, once I saw that volume three was out of stock, I decided to just check on Mercari to see if maybe there was one volume three available on Mercari. And thankfully, I did find it. So this package here is actually from Mercari and it's pretty much the rest of the series. So let me show you the full series. Um, so these are the volumes that I got from Right Stuff. And from Mercari, I got volume 9, volume 6, 
volume one, volume seven, volume 10, and then the one that was no longer available on Right Stuff and seems to be out of print now is volume three. And thankfully, I guess this guy had it noticed. So he had these for a really good price. So yeah, I ended up paying about 57 bucks for these last six volumes um, shipped. So that's a little under $10 each, which is pretty good because I believe during the Right Stuff um, Yen Press sale, it was a little bit more expensive. I can't remember the price now, but maybe I'll put a screenshot with the price that I paid for each of these at Right Stuff here. Um, so yeah, I decided to just go ahead and pick up the whole series because I did see that this one was going out of print. And let's take a look at the covers now. So here is volume one which does look pretty cool. Alice there with her guns. Here's volume two. Ooh, I like these covers. They look pretty nice. Volume three. Volume four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And in the final volume, volume 11. Man, I do like that. Yen Press um, kind of puts the final there at the end of the final volume. And yeah, I think the first two volumes were my favorite ones. I just kind of like how Alice looks there with her guns. And I'm kind of leaning more towards this one. I like how this one looks because they're both great covers here. So yeah, that would have been a perfect one to read during October too, but didn't have them yet. All right, and here's another pre-order, but continuing my Dark Horse Deluxe Edition collection, I did get Blade of the Immortal. Um, I'm probably gonna pick up all of the Dark Horse Deluxe Editions because I do love the way these look. And yeah, this one is no exception. I love the gray color on this one, actually. I wonder if they're gonna keep the same color for each one of these, because I know the spines for the omnibus of Blade of the Immortal. They're all different colors and they look really nice. I was kind of tempted to buy those, but I do prefer these deluxe editions and I do want to read it with the biggest panels available. So I decided to pick this one up instead. And I do want to take a look at the art for this one. So let's open this one up. All right, so it feels nice. It feels more similar to the Helsing Deluxe Edition. Let's take this off. Similar to, similar to the other ones, there's no art here on the back. But let's take a look at that art. All right, so yeah, definitely looks nice. Love these huge panels. All right, so yeah, I'm excited to read this through this one too. Again, I probably won't start on this one until I've picked up a few more volumes, but uh, one thing I did notice and is kind of worrying me is that this picture here in the middle, it feels like it's actually just like a piece of paper, like a high quality paper that's just kind of glued to the front here. So I'm worried that that might come off over time, but I guess if you just keep, take good care of your, of your manga, it should be okay, but yeah, just feels a little, a little weird. So yeah, hopefully I don't get that issue. But yeah, I don't think anyone, from some of the unboxings that I've seen so far, I don't think anyone has mentioned that yet. But all right, let's continue. All right, and just so everyone's aware, I did get this one in my second box. So the Black Friday sale starts on November 15th, and then the holiday sale will start at the end of November on November 29th. So yeah, 
def I would probably definitely be picking up a lot more things too during these two sales. All right, so that's two boxes down. Moving on to the third box now. Okay, so this next box. All right, so this next box includes a bunch of stuff that I'm actually um, just gonna be putting up on my Mercari store. Uh, these are not items that I'm keeping for myself, so I'm not gonna show you guys each one of these, but you guys can kind of take a look there. Uh, so if you guys are interested in any of these items, definitely check out my Mercari store. Always on my link down below, so yeah. All right, so that's three boxes down. Moving on to the fourth one. All right, so this next box contains all of probably what was my favorite pickup from this Yen Press cell, and it is all of Prison School. And they honestly look really nice like this, so they're gonna look really nice on the shelf. I have seen a few people pick these up and I always liked the way that they looked on the shelf. So I'm happy that I now own these. So let's go ahead and show you guys uh, each cover. All right, starting off with volume one, I actually did pick this one up on Mercari. I picked this one up like a month or two months ago because uh, they had it on a really good sale. So I had already knew that I was going to pick up Prison School eventually. I was just waiting for a sale and eventually the Yen Press sale came up and I picked up all of them. Um, but yeah, here is volume one. And since this one is open, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the art in here. So yeah, it looks really good. It just it reminds me exactly how the anime looks. So I think the anime did a really good job adapting this one into an anime. So yeah, I'm excited to read through this one. Here is volume two. Here's volume three. Volume four. Volume five. Volume six. Seven. Volume eight. Volume nine. Volume ten, which I don't know who that girl is. cover looks pretty weird too. I don't know why she has a... Oh, okay. It looks like there's a chain going around her neck, but it's not. It's just, it stops here. Um, volume 11, which again, I don't recognize her either. It's probably a new character. 12, which is my favorite cover. Ever since I saw this one, um, I thought it was really awesome. I just love how there's equations all over the place here. Um, so yeah, this is probably my favorite cover. And the spine looks pretty crazy too. I hadn't noticed that, but she just kind of has some crazy hair going on there. Uh, then we got volume 13. And then finally volume 14 with that final there. And I have heard that the series kind of dips down a bit towards the end here, maybe like these last three or four volumes, but I don't really care. I just kind of want to read through it and just enjoy the series again um, for myself and then I'll kind of develop my own opinion um, but yeah I'm really happy that I picked these up 
All right, so now we're finally on to the last box here. So let me move these out of the way so I can put them here. Although I do love the way this looks. I kind of want to leave it there, but no, nope, need to make some space. All right, so these first two were some out of stock items from the Viz Media Cell. Um, the rest of this series should be up on my Viz Media uh, haul. Uh, I actually think I'm still missing a few. I think I missed, I was missing about four volumes. So I got in a two more, volume two and volume four. Uh, but yeah, the only thing here is that volume four uh, does have a little bit of spine damage here. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but it's not too bad. So yeah. And I love this cover here. She looks pretty awesome there in the front. All right. All right. Uh, this next one here is a Kamega Kill Zero. Uh, so I did pick up the last four that I needed to complete the series. I do have a video up where I picked up the first six volumes at my local game exchange. They had them for about five bucks each, which, which was a really good deal. And during this sale, I decided to pick up the rest of it. So here we have volume seven. Volume eight, which I love the black background here. Volume nine. And finally, volume 10. So my two favorite were these two, and I think I actually prefer this one. I like how the black on white looks, whereas here it's black on black. Uh, so yeah, I prefer this one a little bit here. All right, and I didn't stop there. Uh, during the Yen Press sale, I noticed that there is another spin-off series called Hinoa Ga Crush. So this is also from that same Akame Ga Kill universe. And this one I had no idea about, so yeah, I just decided to pick this one up. And whereas this one was a prequel, uh, this one actually occurs after the original series of Akame Ga Kill. So, so yeah, currently I am watching the anime and I am really enjoying it. So I'm probably gonna finish the anime, uh, read Akame Ga Kill Zero, and then move on to Hinoa Ga Crush. So here is volume one. Volume 3 and Volume 4. And to be honest, these covers, none of them really stood out. They're a little bit weaker than the covers for a Kamega Kill Zero. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'd say it's between these two. Um, I don't know who this character is, so I guess I'll just go with this one, since I do have a Kamega here in the front. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the covers get better, because right now, I don't know, they just, in my opinion, they probably could have done better with these covers. Alright, and continuing my Goblin Slayer pickups, I did also pick up Goblin Slayer Side Story Year One. Uh, so similar to Akame Ga Kill Zero, uh, these are events that happened before the anime and the original manga. Um, so yeah, again, Beth Robinson 94 just convinced me and I decided to pick them all up. Uh, so here is volume one. Volume two. Volume three. And volume four and I really I think this one was the best cover it looks pretty awesome here with all the blood splatter here in the front I don't think any of the rest of these yeah none of these other ones have any blood splatter so yeah pretty awesome cover here all right so we're almost done here we have about four more series to go uh, but I am gonna show these two together because, uh, because yeah, um, between these two series, I was only gonna pick up the full series of one of them, but I couldn't decide. I was between Trinity 7 and Triage X. And I looked at the reviews, all the reviews were pretty similar between both of these. Um, so instead of picking up 
uh, the full series for one of these, I just decided to pick up the first five volumes for both of these. And depending on which one I like both, I may end up picking the rest of one series and studying the other one. Or if I end up liking both, I may just pick up the whole series for both of them. Um, but yeah, they didn't actually end up sending all of these, so some of these were out of stock. Um, I got four for Trinity 7 and two for Triad, Triad X. But let's take a look at the ones I did pick up, starting with Trinity 7. Uh, so here is volume one. Volume two. Volume three. And skipping volume four, um, and on, and we got volume five. Now, as far as the covers go, I think I much prefer the covers of Triag X. I just, I don't know why, I just think they look much nicer than Trinity 7. Uh, but here is volume one, and volume two. So, yeah, I don't know. Also, I know that Triag X is kind of outside of high school. Um, it's based off of, like this motorcycle gang, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, I don't know, I think I actually might enjoy this one more. I probably should have just picked up the whole series of this one. But, I don't know, I'm giving both of them a shot. I'll read through both of them and we'll see which one I like more. All right, uh, so the second to last series here is Dead Mount or Dead Mount Death Play, sorry. And this one, to be honest, this was one that I kind of just read the synopsis and it sounded pretty interesting. So I decided to just pick it up. So reading the synopsis here on the back. So it seems like there was a battle between a, a hero and a necromancer. And at the end of that battle, the necromancer doesn't actually die. He actually gets reincarnated um, across space and time to a boy which I'm guessing is this guy here in the front. And so yeah, it kind of follows the story after that necromancer gets reincarnated into this boy. And so yeah, sounded interesting. So yeah, hopefully I end up enjoying this one. Uh, but here is volume one. Here's volume two. And then here is volume four. Now volume three, I actually picked up during a, so Target is having a sale right now. They're having a buy two, get one free sale. So I also picked up some stuff from Target and uh, Dead Melt volume three was one of them because I actually ended up getting that one cheaper, um, getting it from Target than during the sale. So yeah, that will be in a separate video once I get everything in from my Target buy one, get one sale. Um, I'll show you guys those. And then finally, we finally made it to the last manga here. Uh, so I definitely picked up a lot during this sale. Um, probably more than I did during the Kodansha and the Viz Media sale. I'm not too sure yet, I'll have to count these, but I did end up picking the Elder Sister. And um, this one I actually picked, off, picked up based off of uh, that man in his manga's recommendation. So he had a video up on like i think it was the top 10 ecchi manga and he is definitely like and he's definitely the guy to go to if you want to get um someone's opinion on an ecchi manga uh his whole channel is he has a bunch of ecchi manga reviews and videos so i do love watching his manga and um there's nothing wrong with ecchi i also enjoy it myself i do love ecchi anime um in fact during the target buy two get one free sale i did pick up quite a few um, bit of ecchi manga so, so yeah look forward to that so yeah but this one here is of this um, I don't know what she is she's like some sort of she's like some sort of demon and um, the one of the I guess the main character here um, comes into contact with her and she's willing to for some reason grant him one wish whatever he wants and what he ended up wishing for was for this demon lord to become his sister. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about, but uh, that man in his manga seemed to enjoy it. So I decided to pick it up as well. Uh, one thing I didn't know though, I didn't know they were gonna be so small. These are really thin books, uh, probably the smallest ones that I have. So 
I'll probably read these pretty soon and give you guys my opinion on it, but hopefully I enjoy it. Um, I, I hope, I think I will. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the covers. Here is volume one, which is pretty creepy there because she has some eyeballs as her necklace. Here's volume two, which is not as creepy. looks pretty nice. Volume three. And volume four. So yeah, out of these, out of these four volumes, I think I actually like this one the best. I don't know, I just think she looks nice here on the cover and I like the white background. So yeah, I'll go with this one. All right, so that was it. Uh, most of this was from the Yen Press sale. There was a few pre-orders that I got in. Um, so let me go ahead and count everything. All right, so we have 68 volumes picked up and this definitely beat my Viz Media haul. I think I was at around 58 or so there, so about 10 more. So yeah, this manga collection hobby is no joke. <laughs> uh, you definitely, even with all these sales, you do definitely end up spending a lot of money on manga. I am enjoying picking all of these up um, and I'll continue to do so. So look forward to future hauls and thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.